stress on the rocket. Falcon Heavy is supersonic. There we just heard the call out that the vehicle is now traveling faster than the speed of sound. What a beautiful sight. Space Power Force Station, nominal. carrying UTELSAT Hotbird 13G satellite. Now, during ascent, the M1D engines will actually swivel and help steer Falcon 9, and this is known as gimbal. The rocket autonomously tilts the Vehicle engines. supersonic. The rocket autonomously tilts the engines just a few degrees, and this gimbaling allows the vehicle to perform a gravity turn, which is when we are going vertical, but also going horizontal, and you can kind of see that on your screen there. Max Q. Great. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Getting to pitch over. Stage one propulsion nominal. At lab launch complex one and is on its way to space carrying the MAT satellite. Our rocket recovery attempt is also now officially underway. Coming up on supersonic speeds, Electron will be traveling faster than the speed of sound as it approaches its first mission milestone, maximum aerodynamic pressure. Electron's Rutherford engines will throttle down slightly to pass this pressure point, and once cleared, we should hear the call from mission control that the rocket has passed max Q.
minus 10. Five, four, three, two, one. We have liftoff. We have very NGH launch vehicle from all flights. We have liftoff of Norfolk Grumman's 18th Commercial Resupply Services mission. The SS Sally Ride has begun its journey to the International Space Station. The first stage is performing norm nominally so far. On a clear night in California, here we go. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition. And liftoff. Liftoff of the Atlas V carrying JPSS 2 and Lofton, a new weather observatory for our planet and a test for planetary exploration. Yeah, Gerald, as we heard uh, Omar Baez say, LSP-100 on its way also. We're very happy for this 100th mission the Launch Services Program. Let's listen in as Jesse Gonzalez. And coming up on 30 seconds in the flight vehicle is a half mile in altitude, flight. two miles downrange, traveling at 160 miles per hour. And passing 45 seconds of the flight, continuing to see good operating parameters out of the RD-180. The power of the Atlas V RD-180. Yeah, coming up on a minute whole, into flight, the, the vehicle in. is ending its roll maneuver. And vehicle body rates are looking good.文昌光学雷达跟踪正常 Liftoff of Falcon 9 from Space Launch Complex 40, Cape power, Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. We're carrying the Intelsat Galaxy 31 and 32 payloads to orbit. Now we've just begun throttling down the Falcon Merlin 1D 
engines in preparation for maximum dynamic pressure. And we've also begun to tilt the engines, that's called gimbling, and that's why we've begun to move horizontally away from the launch pad. That maneuver is called a gravity turn. minus 50 seconds and counting. Coming up at T minus 33 seconds, the GLS will hand off control to the ALS. This is the autonomous launch sequencer on board the rocket. It will take over command and control of the rocket. But the ALS will check, make sure there's no holds coming from the ground up until T minus two GLS, seconds. GLS, go for ALS. And we are go for ALS. The space launch system is now counting down to lift off of Orion on its maiden voyage to the moon. Launch team can no longer recycle the count. Sound suppressor water now flowing 15. under the ML. And here we go. Ten. Hydrogen burnoff igniters initiated. Seven, six, five, four stage engine start. Three, two, one. Boosters in ignition. And liftoff of Artemis One. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. on the core stage and two solid rocket boosters now propelling the vehicle at 128 miles per hour. Harry, good, con good control on the roll from teams of Mission Control Houston. All good calls so far. Now 30 seconds into the flight of Artemis 1. First milestone will be forward the vehicle to pass through max Q at about 1 minute and 9 seconds into launch. This is the greatest period of atmospheric force on the rocket. traveling 607 miles per hour. You're looking at 8.8 .8 million pounds of maximum thrust. Quiet here in the loops and mission control. The four core stage engines are throttling down ahead of passing through max Q. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, and it's full power. And lift off about the nine. Go detail that ten B, go ten forty nine. Vehicle's pitching that range. Stage one propulsion is nominal. has successfully lifted off from pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station carrying the UTELSAT 10B satellite. Power and telemetry. Now during ascent, the M1D engines will actually swivel and help steer Falcon 9. This is known as gimbal. The rocket autonomously tilts the engines just a few degrees and this gimbling allows the vehicle to Falcon perform... supersonic. ...allows the vehicle to perform a gravity turn, which is when we go vertical as well as horizontal. Now we're still going up, but we are also heading horizontally away from the launch pad. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Lift off normal. 
There's the textbook lift off of PSL C54006 mission. Safalta Poon Uthapan, PSLV C54. बहुत ही रोमांच का क्षण यह होता है जो लोग यहाँ उपस्थित हैं उनसे लाइव देख रहे हैं महसूस कर सकते हैं इनकी गर्जना कंपन and lift off of CRS 26, go Falcon and happy Thanksgiving ISS. That's right, lift off of SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket for the 26th cargo resupply mission, bringing new science experiments and solar arrays to the International Space Station. down the engines on the first stage and this helps us prepare for max Q which is maximum dynamic pressure it's the largest structural load that the vehicle sees on ascent and we should be passing through that period should be passing through that period in a few seconds here Three, two, one, ignition. Three Chinese astronauts okay. in space. Pitch over. Okay, the pitch over happening. Uh, about 12 seconds into yeah. the flight. The tower is already clear. We can see the white flames very bright in the night. The ground station reports that the tracking is normal and the status is normal. Oh, this is the camera mounted on the launch vehicle. And we will continue to hear those tracking data um, that will tell us how the flight is going. We'll continue to hear them throughout the process. So the next critical step will be the jettisoning of the emergency exit top about uh, two minutes after liftoff. Mm. At this moment, we can see that this is a video uh, mounted on the, uh, on the body of the, uh, maybe the second stage. And we can see two of the boosters mm. and their flames. It's and we can see the cabin. Uh, in, inside the re-entry capsule mm. and the three astronauts are in very good status. Mm. We cannot see the vibration because the camera is vibrating together with the cabin. That's right. The, the three Taikonauts do seem um, to be in a good state. And each of the booster have a rocket engine with a thrust about 75 tons. Mm. 